Hello and welcome to a special video right here. It's uh, based on a competition being played this week, but I did have the chance to make the maps myself. And we have five maps, including a waiting room map, but we'll get to that in a moment. But what this is, is a uh, competition, time attack over one week. Uh, it will be finishing on the 20th if you still want to play it can find it in Spam's Club. You have to play on the server to get the rank. But uh, just I'll quickly showcase the videos locally so I can jump out whenever I need. But um, yeah, so I worked with these with, well, on these maps with HTMH, which he has done an incredible job on the, the scenery with these maps. So let's quickly go on the waiting room map. So this isn't an official map. This is just a map which will be used if we need to switch uh, or wait between the matches, which I actually didn't say. So you have the time attack stage and then you have a cup mode which will be hosted on Spam's channel on the 21st, 20th, 20th, I think. It's a bit confusing for me because it's in it's on the 21st for me because it's Monday, but it's actually 20th at 1800 or 2000. It's a bit confusing. I'll leave the details in the description. You know how it is around here. I never know the details. But uh, that's going to be an absolutely great competition. Definitely go give that a watch. But yeah, we have our first map here. Oop, gets it a little bit bumpy. So this is not a official map which will be played but uh this is still what you will expect in this so some insane scenery i actually did do the scenery on this one so tim has done three of the sceneries and then i've done three of the other ones but he was the one who made the mod did all the assets so it's pretty much his work yeah this is just a very quick map it doesn't uh take too long so this one isn't too important, but I think it's very beautiful nonetheless. So if you enjoy that, wait until you see the official map. So let's start with the first map I made, which was Dasher. So you can see that we have named them after the reindeers, but they are different styles. Let's go back to webcam now that you have seen some of the thumbnails and all these do have a cheeky little intro which is a beautiful showcase of the map but uh yeah just look at it it's insane so tim did the scenery on this one i made the maps very very cool a few easter eggs for you to find um as well so definitely do give these a play i've put Upwards of 10 hours each on the on all these maps to make sure they're working well. They're very playable for everyone, but they can also be hunted to some very risky lines, which I'm going to try right here. So, got some speed tech to start off here. With a risky checkpoint there, one of my favorite parts. And then a very tight loop. with a wide drift and then a slow banked corner, actually not banked, this one's the banked corner, with a final ascent to the bridge and then the finish line with the frosted away finish line. So I think this is personally my favorite map. This was actually the first map I made, uh, but I think it's still my favorite one. Speed Tech is one of my favorite styles, but this map is just so smooth to drive when you do go all out on it. So I think this is definitely one of the crucial turns. Can get it a lot better than what I just did there. As we go through the loop once again, take the jump a bit lower, wide drift and then harsh drift. 
Wide turn. And then to the finish line. So we'll just showcase these to you a few times with a pretty decent time there actually. So I'm happy with that. Um, but as you can see, my graphics aren't actually all the way up. I've got a few things a bit lower. Probably turn these ones up at least to give you a full effect on the shadows. But man, just look how cool these look. Tim has done an amazing job. And I hope that my maps are really quite enjoyable to play. So once again, if you do want to play it, it is on the server Santa Cow in Spam's Club. You will need uh, standard or club access to be able to play them. Uh, they are on Mania Exchange as well if you want to go uh, download it through that. But if you want to get the rank to try and qualify for the comp, you will need to play on the server. So I recommend just playing on the server anyway. It's a uh, 12 minute per round, so it's just an hour to go through all the maps. Yeah, we have the second map here. Bit of a different one, as you'll find out in a moment. As we do have a bit of a mixed style. So start with a bit of ice, sausage, grass. As you can see, it goes through the phases quite quickly, but then that's what's spicy about this map. It's a nice little bog slide in the middle. I thought that would be quite entertaining for the spectators and for the players to try and risk it. And then there's this beauty of a drift. Using the ice tires to start your drift early. I really like that corner. And then some speed sliding to end off the map. A pretty decent time again. So, this is quite a tough map here for players who might not know the lines. Get, a bit, get it a bit bumpy there, but we'll just continue. Um, but yeah, the real crucial part of this map is this bug slide. Don't want to go too wide, and then you want to retain the speed. There's a bit of a slower bug slide, which you can get as well. So you want to try and learn how to get the grip on the exit of that. So we go through it one more time. A bit slower run here, but that's fine. With a speedy end and a speed slide on the snow, which is actually dirt. But as you can see with the mod. So I'm going to say this is one of my favorite maps, but I'm going to say all the maps are my favorite. I, I think uh, these are some of my best maps I've ever made. And then Tim's just made them even better on top. So the scenery is done by Tim on this one. I mean, I did a few things like added a sign and added a few trees and buildings, but Tim did most of this one. And then there is Blitzen, which is a full speed track. A bit of a twist at the start. But uh, this is the one Tim did the scenery on. Very, very crazy. Which you'll find out right now. Look at this overview. We got some cute pingus, of course. And then that massive overview. I did the shots on this one. I think that really gives a nice overview right there. So here we go. So you got your icy start, got to make sure you go a bit high here, but not too far up. And then try and stay on the red lines here. You can pretty much do it auto, and then jump instantly, and then jump again into the downhill. So, might be a bit difficult to start off here, but definitely can learn it. And we have some uh, speed to gain for these last sections here. You get some speed slides through the middle there. I'm not the greatest at speed sliding. This is probably my worst map in terms of time, which I get. But you can get a speed slide at that jump as well if you do it really well. And then we have a final tube to finish it off. So a bit of a another bit of a mix-up map here to uh, try and see who can, has learnt 
how to maintain their speed at the start and gather it towards the end. So very tight there. Don't want to fall off the snow though. So a few uh, things still to look out for in these maps to gain a lot of time, but also is it worth risking or not? That's for you to find out. So on the final drift. Oh, I don't nail it that time, but that's all right. It's uh, there to be quite difficult to uh, be able to risk it. But uh, will you be willing enough to go for that full sending it? As you can see, I tried a speed slide there, but don't get it that great. So definitely not a map that I'm brilliant at as it is a bit different compared to the rest, but I really like this map. Just, I think it flows really nicely at the start, and then you get into a few, like, full speed sections towards the end. And then Tim has done some amazing assets to go with this map. Really, really cool, I think. So that is the third map. As we move on to the fourth map, which is a very nice change of mood here as we move on to a nighttime theme also a bit of a mixed map but the vibe on this is so so cozy i really love this map i think this is probably my second favorite there's a small thing there if you do use high shadows or whatever it was shader i think uh, and we have the black ice at the start, as we see the scary snowman. Uh, you can change your settings to get that fixed. Although there should be a fix coming in the future. But anyway, back to the map. We start off with a few little ice sections at the start here. Very, very tough for maybe some beginners to learn this, but it is quite a simple concept of an ice drift once you do learn how to do it. So as you can see, we have a bit of a red and green theme to go with the Christmas on this one. Uh, so I did the scenery on this one actually, and Tim and I thought up the idea to try and add the lights with a red and green theme to try and spice up, spice it up a little bit. So we get 44 seconds there, not the quickest time, but. This one can be a little bit difficult to get the start. So this one, I just hard uh, left steer and then just brake tap once and you often pretty much aim to about this hill. So it's quite a fun drive once you learn it or a drift. This one, you can really send it as I do get it quite bad, but that's right. If one final drift, a bit of a tighter one there and then try and gain your speed for the final jump there if you do struggle with that final jump you can uh, go to the safe finish but definitely is possible with a bit of learning so yeah in my opinion this is probably my favorite looking map just I think the green and green and red and just the cozy vibe is so so cool on this map I think my settings are a little bit uh, weird, so um, it's not showcasing it to the full standard, but you can still get the general gist. But um, yeah, I did I did the scenery one on this one, and I think I did a pretty decent job to get that cozy little vibe. As we move on to our final map here, Cupid. So once again, I did all the maps for this, uh, the actual track layout. I made sure that it was possible for players of all skill levels to be able to play this, but definitely have it so the top players can choose those risky lines and full send it to make a very interesting battle. 
Um, and then this was also another one I did the scenery on. And uh, one cool thing about this was the elevation change. So you'll see that we kind of go around the bottom at first and then kind of go all the way around the mountain to the finish. Um, and I added the custom asset cliffs that Tim made instead of it being like the wooden surface. So this one has a nice little vibe to it as well. But let's see if we can get a cheeky little run on it. So a few little transitions to try and risk a bit at the start as I go for the risky uh, ramp cut trick but didn't nail it that time. This one you can get smoothly. Okay, let's just restart. I don't have the perfect speed I would have liked there. I'm just going to go somewhat more safe than trying to go for the risky lines for the video. <laughs> Thought I'd give it a go, but failing hard. So this one, jump into the smooth downhill there and then onto a big wall ride against the wall. And then this is where you gather a bit of speed. If you can't make the jump to the left there, you can just go the safe uh, road up the hill, through the loop, gain a bit more speed, jump up against the hill, and then one final big drift to the finish line. So, very slow time there. Let's see if we can get one more decent time. But I do really hope that you do give these a go if you haven't already. They were... I really put a lot of time into thinking about everything in these maps. I think this is some of my best work. And I hope that you do really enjoy these. Give them a go. You can't make the top 16 because there's a lot of really, really good players. I hope you can still enjoy it nonetheless. As we get the riskier mountain jump at the top there. But did hit the bit of snow, so as you can see, losing a bit of time, but still a little bit of a gain. So, there we have it, all the maps. Once again, there's this is for the Santa Cow competition hosted by the beautiful Derenku, who used to be called the Ranking Cow, or the Racing Cow, if you're wondering where the name comes from. Um, and make sure to join the server, play the maps in the time attack stage, and then tune in for the final competition, which will be hosted on Spam's channel. So hope you guys did enjoy this one. Bit of a special video here, as I really did put a lot of effort and time into trying to make these as good as they can. As you can see, the Twitch chat spamming a lot. If you did enjoy it, do subscribe, why not? It's free. Always unsubscribe whenever you feel like it. Or come over to the Twitch channel, say hello. You know how it is. But, as long as you have a good day, that's me done. And see you next time. Bye bye.